So today I'm going to be talking about resources for my assigned topic for PN4036 and my topic was structural forms and uh, I'm going to be talking about one resource I made for a hyperbolic paraboloid. So what I did was I, I was going back through the previous exam papers and I came across this question it was in the 2002 paper in the detectional drawing section and I said I'll make a resource of this on SOLIDWORKS just for a show of the students an actual model of a hyperbolic problem so it helped them visualize it more. So what I did was I took my plan and I brought it into my I brought it into my uh, SOLIDWORKS and I drew up my plan just on the top plane and I just do a rough I used the dimensions um, for my construction lines here as can if I just zoom in here. You can see there roughly there's my construction lines there. Then what I did then is I used the 3D sketch tool which is a handy enough tool when doing the hyperbolic parabola that I've shown. You can work on 3D models. And I just roughly drew out the outline of the, just kind of like we'll say the heights of my uh, hyperbolic parabola. And then what I did was I said, I made these points vertical over each other, all points vertical over the points on, the, on my construction lines I've drawn earlier. And then using my heights given in the elevation, like so A is 12 meters up and B was 26 meters up and then B and D, rested on the horizontal plane and that's what I've done here I just mimicked that again on this and that gave me my hyperbolic paraboloid and I, I used the uh, fill in insert surfaces and fill the fill tool then to fill in my hyperbolic paraboloid here from my points so that gave me my my curved surface as shown and then to get the generators going across what I did was I went into tools was it tools sketch tools and face curves yes that's what i did in face curves and select the services and it gave me my generators i could do as many generators you can divide up as many generators as you wanted there was an option to so then what i did was say uh, right that's what and i did this because then i can go into here and i can go into my here's my elevation and here's my plan view of this model and then like so, so the students be if they're given a question and they've seen that and they have the model up on the board looking at the board they say okay this is how where this comes from this is why i this is where my generators come and how what generators can connect up to which. And then be able to get just having a model in front of them can, can help students help visualize them. So then what I did then to finish off the question and finish off the model in the same way that was shaped in the question, like here with the curves, kind of looking like a off shaped Pringle would say as a real life example. Here it is here now is what I did and what I did was I saved I said I'd save them over as two different files just because I'd use them twice and what I did was I from the original plan circle given I extruded it to give a a cylinder I extruded it mid plane and I just hit that there so that that's where it is there now and then what I used was the handy tool in here in tools no it was in insert surfaces and I extended it I used to extend feature and I extended it out from my surface of my uh, excuse me the hyperbolic parabolite out to my surface of my inside cylinder and that gave me my curved surface then as can be seen what was required. This can be a it can be a handy resource for when teaching hyperbolic parabolite because if they have a dynamic model up them on the board and they can see it working and they work it around they can get the plan or can get their elevation and, and isometric views of every way they want they can Orientated and just once they have something visualized because sometimes when you're doing these questions they might have struggled to visualize these questions and visualize the actual models because the hyperbolic probably can sometimes be tricky to visualize but once because you you will have differentiation in the classroom of different students who can some will be able to visualize some will not be able to visualize it so being able to bring the people who can't up to the same level as others perhaps or near about the same level can all, can help big time in the classroom and it's just it, it, it'll engage the students more. That was one of the resources I made for my assigned topic of structural forms.